The seaside resort town of Skegness is a lovely seaside town with lots of open top buses. Today our story is based on Slots the Seasider. Right, so I know I'm usually on the three, but today I'm on the one. That's all you've got to remember, Slots. All you've got to remember. You're on you're usually on the three, but today you're on the one. After she had said that a couple of times, she began losing control. Everybody, everybody, off at the next stop. She had already lost control and managed to stop at the bus stop out of luck. When Slots had finished getting everyone off, she spun out of control again and fell off the side of the cliffs. She teetered and turned and the wind blew and blew. She had to put her brakes on very hard to not be able to fall off the cliff. Help! Help! Slots shouted. But then she came up with a good idea. Meanwhile, on the tracks in the middle of the roads was a happy metal car. No one knew who he was, but he was still there and everyone knew him. He thundered over the level crossing to find her. However, just as the interconnector turned off the road, he saw Slot on hanging over the cliff side. <gasps> the metro car thundered under the cliffs, causing Slot to shake and interconnect. Unfortunately for Slot, she fell off the cliff side. Interconnect was the only person that had seen her and he didn't want to tell anyone. Are you okay, Salot? Yes, I'm fine. Okay, good. Okay. Do you need help? Uh, no. Oh. Help. Okay, bye, I'll go get some help. And so, the search for slots began. Metros looked in every side impossible, but there was no sign of slots. Every side impossible they looked in. Still, there was no sign of slots. Even when they thought they'd found slots, it was just other buses that they did not know very well, except slots. Slots was the only bus they knew well enough. None of them knew how close they were to Slots or how far they were, but this is the closest anyone has gotten to her yet. One day, a metro had reached the end of the leads and got to the silence. Slots was there. He had found Slots. He couldn't believe it, so he moved a bit closer to have a little look. It was Slots. Slot, are you alright? No. I'll go get help. She had been found. She'd been found. The other metro car went to get some help while another metro car came to look after Slot. He thundered down the line as fast as he could to find some help for Slot. No hope was found. But then he found Skegness Station and came to a stop there. Starry was there and he was told by the metro car what had happened. Starry had told the metro car that he knew slots since they were little buses. But then another metro car came front down, and down the line and crashed into the other metro car. This one came straight to the line. He got stuck on the hill. And the other metro car set off to find the metro car that was involved in the crash. But unfortunately he had tipped over so a crane had to come and fix him and take him up. Another metro car had had an accident so the crane helped that metro car. And then the other metro car came storming through and went up the hill. He went up the hill and found Salot. 
Slots needed the crane to help her get from the cliffs. And so the crane picked up Slots and put her back on the road. This led to lots of cheering from the other buses. Yay, Slots is back, Slots is back, Slots is back, Slots is back. We love Slots and we're glad she's back. Slots just felt very famous. Slots is back. Ha ha. Yes, Slots may be back, but she won't be back for long if she comes to see us. And that's where our story ends. Slots became back in Satian Scoop Well. <laughs>